Hello and welcome to Be a Tier, the German Engineer. Today we are back with Oxygen Not Included with the Spaced Out DLC. And on top of that we also have the newest patch which is Fast Friends. And Fast Friends is bringing us 4 new dupes, 4 new Critomorphs as well as a new building. But most importantly, at least in my opinion, we also have some drastic performance improvements for the late game. So I think this is a great opportunity to start a new Let's Play series. So let's see what we can do with that. We're going to start start a new game and we're going to go survival this time around. I do want to stay with classic because I am not too happy with the small asteroids on spaced out so we're gonna stick with that and then let's take a look at our destinations. I believe I want to go with Oceania because I have actually never done Oceania. So I think this would be a good first try and we will see how that works out for us. But first of all, let me find with the help of our reroll world seed here a bidding asteroid that will work for our needs. And I think this here is something we can work with. Here we have the coordinates in case you need them if you want to play along or you want to play your own version of it. And we have some geodes, mixed boulders, a frozen core and most importantly we are geoactive. This world has more geysers and vents than usual. That is very good. We have a lot to exploit. That is what I want to see in a let's play. It shouldn't get boring, should it? And then down here in our nearby asteroid we have a crash satellite with a lot of radioactivity and metallic caves which is probably going to be helpful in the long run as well. Let's take a look into game settings. In game settings, we have here hunger, durability, stress, diseases, moral, and radiation all on default. Default is fine. And the world chain seed is right here in case you need that as well for whatever. Down here on the bottom, care packages, teleporters, stress reactions, and save to cloud are all turned on. And sandbox mode as well as fast workers mode are turned off. If you don't see fast workers mode, don't worry about it. That is only there if you have debug mode turned on, which I have always on, mainly for my explained videos. But this is what we're going to start with so let's just jump right into it and see how that works out for us And here we are in our dupe selection screen. We need to find the three starting dupes as well as give the colony a name. So let me do that and then I will show you what I come up with. And here is what I came up with. So let's take a look. We have our three starting dupes right here. We have Krivak, Magenta and Chemsta. Krivak and Magenta are two long term YouTube members as well as my two moderators on all platforms that I'm on. And Chemsta, yeah, if you have seen my last Let's Play, then you probably know that there will never be another Oxygen Not Included game that I can start without having Chemsta. So Chemsta is definitely going to come along. So Krivak, what is going on with you? You have a plus nine in Excavation and with Molhens, you get another plus three that gives us a total of plus 12 which is perfect our digger is going to be Krivak. Yoko cannot do researching errands does not matter in the least. Then Magenta over here has a plus three in building a plus one in machinery and a plus one in husbandry which is going to be good in the long run for machinery and husbandry and the plus three construction will come in handy at the beginning very very much. His traits are handy for another plus three in construction and he's an unpracticed artist which once again thankfully doesn't matter at all. And then you have Chemster over here our research nerd with plus nine in science and another plus three down here through quick learner and he cannot do cooking errands and all of that is perfectly fine those are my three perfect starting dupes and then down here we have a name for the colony and it's engineered space chunk so i will say let's just jump right into that And here we are, we have an alert. The asteroid we call home has collided with an anomalous planet, decimating our colony. Rebuilding it is of the utmost importance. I have detected a new cluster of material-rich planetoids in nearby space. If I can guide the duplicates through the perils of space travel, we could build a colony even bigger and better than before. So let's begin. And here we are. Apparently our planetoid is currently called Dampiel. We gotta change that later, but that is on the priority list, definitely not on the top. So let's see what we have here. Lots of water down here on the bottom. More water on the top right and more water on the top left. I guess I know now why it's called Oceania. That is a hell of a lot of water that I don't know yet what to do with it. What is our temperature? Okay, it is a normal temperature at about 21 degrees roughly in that general area, which is fine. Yeah, so how are we going to start here? We have a lot of space to the right and a lot of space to the left. And exactly that's what we're going to do. So three high, I'm going to dig over to the... Now we're going to start with the right. Yeah, we're going to take over to the right because we do at the bare minimum have some ore over here, some copper ore. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. While the dupes are digging, I might as well uh, change their priorities. Yes, uh, Gemster right here, you are going to be our researcher. While we are digging with Krivak and we are building with Magenta. 
But we are also, what are we doing? We are ranching and we are operating with Magenta, that's right. That's how that needs to be set up for right now. Back here in the corner, let me pause the game real quick and let's see how many cots can we fit in here. That would make four. Uh, four should be okay for right now. We can always put in five and six. That should be okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to not let him dig out this particular tile right here, only this one right there. And then in base, we're going to put a pneumatic door into here, which will give us immediately some bedrooms. That should be perfect. At the same time, I want to dig over to the left. So let me take a look here. We have ample amounts of space and you may have seen it in my let's play. I'm going to at least start very, very similar because we can use this area here for food later on. So let's take a look right here in the middle. We have eight tiles and I usually triple that size. So I go another eight to the left. Let me do that real quick here. Come on. There we go. Eight to the left and eight to the right. So this here is usually the standard size of my block in the middle. And I think I'm going to do the exact same thing once again, just at least again for the beginning. Later on, we are definitely going to branch out. The base is going to look very, very different from the last one. First of all, I'm going to dig all the way over to here and I'm going to, well, this is fine. Yeah, this needs to go first. And then what I want to do over here on the left is behind this right here. We are going to have a ladder that is going to be right here. And we're going to dig out this space, this space, and this space. And then behind, over here on this side, we are going to have our first bathrooms. That should be perfectly fine for right now. Uh, I'm going to start with a pneumatic door right there. Two outhouses here and there. And in medicine, two wash basins right there and right there. And that should be everything that we need for this here to be a latrine. We also, of course, got to keep on digging just a little bit. So let's do that. That should give us everything that we need in the beginning. As soon as we find a little bit more of those metal ores here, then we can also get into researching right away. And over here, our outhouses are now almost built. So let me pause the game real quick. And I want to go into schedule because we are going to have two different schedules or probably we should go with three. Yes, let's do that. And I'm just going to rename them pretty easily to S1, S2 and S3. And then what we are going to do is, first of all, we're going to get definitely rid of this bath time right here. We don't need it. We're also going to get rid of one sleep time. So let me actually clear out the second schedules completely. And on the second schedule right here, we're going to overlap one sleep time just like this. And then we're going to put in the bed time right here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to put in two down times and then the bed time goes into the next one. And then I'm just going to assign them to S1, 2 and 3 respectively. And that should be perfectly fine. So we always have one overlapping, but one is going to be completely free. And that is exactly what I'm planning on doing. So one of our dupes is always at all times ready to go. And one is sleeping and one is in downtime. That is the worst case scenario that can happen. And that is exactly what that should look like. Over here, I want to build a couple more cots. So let's give it a number six priority. So they will do that next. That will be fine. I didn't actually meant to dig this here out, but it's OK. Not a big deal. I just wanted to show it. That's how far we're going to go. But at least now we definitely know. You have four cots and I'm probably going to go ahead and put in two more and keep on digging towards the back. But before I do that, what is the maximum room size is 64 tiles. So if I go all the way back to right around here, we have 54. Yeah, that's fine. We can dig all the way into this direction, except for this here. And we are still fine on the tiles. We just need to make sure that we put in one tile right around here somewhere. Shouldn't really matter. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're going to put in another door. That should be fine. Now that all this is done, we can take care here in the middle of our research in stations. We are going to build a research station right here. And then right beside the research station, I want to have a manual generator right there with a battery right here and then we're going to connect them all together just like this of course now because i accidentally dug this here up we need to plop in three more tiles but also that is definitely not going to kill us no problem and i want to put the muck root in here as well and in cycle one we have completed the latrine and over here as soon as this door here is built so let's uh, get it done this room right here will be a barracks and here it should go Yes, here we have it. Barracks, Morel, plus one. Unfortunately, we didn't get the research station done, mainly because of my mistake right here. But it's not that big a deal. And we will also have access to water here in a second. We just got to plop in a pitcher pump right around here. Good. And now about a quarter into the second cycle, we have the research station. So let's pause it and let's start researching. Uh, how much food do we have? Let me take a look. 20,000 calories. Yeah, we are fine on that. No problem. We're going to go for power regulation right here and internal combustion. We're going to go for that right away as well. No problem. Let's get that done. Magenta is already here filling up the battery. That is even better. That's great. So Chemster can get over here and start with his research right away, basically. Great. 
Now that all this here is done, we also need to keep in mind that we need to consolidate all this water here. This water here needs to get out and it needs to go into this area down here. And I think we should be able to do that relatively quickly. Yeah, that's right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just come up here with our ladder because it needs to come up here earlier or later anyway. So we might as well do it right away. We will get access to this copper ore as well as up here. This oxygen is going to help us out in the short term. How are we looking? So far, it's still good. So actually, I'm going to build it all the way up. And as soon as we are up here, I'm just going to dig through right here. And then we should be able to drain this water through our bathroom down to the bottom. That is not optimal, but it's definitely going to work out for us. Also, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop in here just some ladders probably. Um, one ladder, is that going to be enough? You know what? I'll screw it. I'm going to make it three. And this here is going to be an area where our water is going to fall down to here and then probably going to overflow, but one step after the next. At the same time, this area right here has five plants in it, so I would probably like to preserve it. But at the same time, I would also like to put in some sort of carbon dioxide area where our carbon dioxide accumulates. Let's see if we can do that. Um, I really didn't want to place this here, but I have to. I don't have a choice. Let's take a look here. These here should be now 16 tiles long. Yes, it is. That's perfect. And I'm going to plop down our ladder just so we know where it's going to be right around here. Sorry, no, right there, right there. There we go. Just so we know where it's at, that's all we need to know for right now. And then over here on the right, relatively close to our bedroom, I'm going to plop down four of those ladders right here with tiles on the bottom. And the tiles I'm going to put right around here, just like that. We will not be able to reach it because I will need to put down one more piece of ladder somewhere, at least temporarily, but that's fine. And then we're going to dig this here up. So we're going to plop this here in, at least as a temporary solution, but we definitely need it. Over here, we're still building our ladder all the, way, all the way to the top. One of you can do that, and the other one, please head over there and get building on this side. Or here on the bottom. Really, the order doesn't matter too much. And Chempster completed the research, so let's see if we can find something else that we will need, which we definitely will. In Colony Development, right here, a supercomputer. I think we're going to go for that relatively quickly, but we can't use it yet because we need to do a little bit more with Chempster. He needs a little bit more work, so we're going to give him plumbing first, and then we will go for a supercomputer. And Magenta is over here and he's finishing up our carbon dioxide trap. Come on, build this one more tile here. Actually, we don't even need to build this here. Let's save a stat. We want to deconstruct this tile right here though. Let's do that with a number nine priority. And then we're going to grab us a ration box, which we don't have unlocked yet. Oh my. So Champster, you have more work to do up here on the top. We're going to go for meal preparation next so we can get the ration box unlocked right away. And now that we have unlocked the Chumbo battery, I'm going to plop this one here down right away and I'm going to hook it up with a power wire because this singular battery here has 10 kilojoules of capacity while this one here will have a capacity of 40. So literally twice the size, but four times the capacity. That is a no brainer in my book. All this here on the bottom is now built as well, so we can actually start with our water over here. So right around here, I want to come straight through all the way through here, and that should be able to drain our water relatively quickly, and hopefully it doesn't cause too much damage to all of our infrastructure. Also down here, I want to dig all this stuff here out, and down here, how are we looking right there? I'm probably going to build a couple pieces of ladder down here so we can actually reach it, and I'm going to dig out much, much more stuff so we have actually more capacity for water. Our ration boxes are now also completed, so I'm going to plop two of those down here. Do we already have some carbon dioxide in there? Yes, we do. Wonderful. That's exactly what that should look like. And then we can start storing our stuff down there on the bottom. How is our oxygen? Still no problem. That's how I like it. That is great. But right here, our printing pod. Look at this. We can choose a new one. Let's take a look together. What do we have here? We have rust and we have nutrient bars. Okay, so we can always get us more food in case we cannot come up with a good dupe. But let's take a look. Steve here, farming, tidying and decorating. He's charm resistant and he has a super duper hard digging tier 3 skill. But he has a decreased bathroom use speed and decreased aesthetics. And then Abe over here is decorating, researching and tidying. He has shriveled taste buds and increased strength, but he cannot build anything. Usually I would really like to put it on another dupe right at this moment. I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to go for the nutrient bars for right now. And then we're going to go from there later on. I believe the next cycle around, or at least I hope the next cycle around, we are going to be a little bit more lucky. And Chempster is once again done with his research. So let's take another look. And this time we can go straight for the supercomputer. 
And here we have Magenta and he's going to release the water. That is very, very good. And that's exactly what we need to happen right now. This is the perfect timing for it at the beginning of cycle four. So all the water should have drained by the time we are ready for the next cycle. And our dupes actually have to use those facilities right here. Currently, they don't. We just need to get rid of the water and then we mop up the water and we should be perfectly fine at this point. Wonderful. And now all the water is drained. We have our latrine back, I believe. Yes, we do. Of course, these tiles are a little bit low, but for right now, they're perfectly fine. And our dupes have nothing to do. So that, of course, cannot happen. Let's just get rid of all the exclamation points real quick. And then let's see what we can tear up next. Our oxygen overview is still looking halfway decent. I actually don't have a lot to complain right here. We also still have to mop this here up, but I already have laid out the next stage right here. These tiles right here just mark always the next one where we are going to go. And we're just going to go five high every time. Something just like this here. And we need to do exactly that. First of all, I want to go with food. I need to build some farm tiles and farm tiles need to go all along here until we reach this point then we go one down and then over on the other side we're gonna do the exact same thing just like that so we have four here in the middle that are free that's what that should look like just like this then this one and this one we're gonna get rid of them we're gonna copy this one and make it all the way as that should be once again then with our ladder on this side here we might as well build up all to the, all the way to this point right here so they're all nice and level the only problem is that our ladder is too far away which means we need to get in one piece of ladder right here, here and there. Better to say up there we don't even need it as a matter of fact. We're just going to leave those two tiles in for right now. But here, yes, we are still fine everywhere right there. Except right here. We're going to put this one in. And then we're going to tear out all this stuff right here. All this stuff right here. And everything that's on this side. And on this side here, we're going to do the exact same thing. All the way to the top. Except this one. Well, this one is going to be sand, so we will need it. Then we're going to tear all the way down to here and all the way through there. That should give us the bare basics outline of what we are looking for. All this here needs to go and all this here needs to go. Just like that should be perfectly fine. Let's get all of this done, please. And then research, of course, we cannot leave that idle either. So let's take a look down to gases. I want to go all the way to the right here to decontamination. And how we're going to do that is this ration box right here. We're going to tear it out with a very high priority so it actually gets done. And as soon as that is done, we're going to put in our supercomputer right here. There it is. We're going to plop it in and we're going to hook it up with a wire, at least temporarily. And a lot of digging is going on and our oxygen is slowly but steadily getting low. So that needs to be our number one priority. So I'm thinking I'm going to cancel this here for at least right now. First of all, we need to have this stuff here in the middle. That's what I want to go for first. And that's exactly what we're going to do. What exactly is the plan up here? This here is going to be our new research area. That is usually where I like to have it. We can put all sorts of machinery in here and that should work out perfectly. So in power, the first thing that I always want to do is put in a generator and the generator goes right here. Then the jumbo battery goes next to it. Then in stations, we're going to plop down a research station as well as the supercomputer side by side. Then in base, what usually goes into those four tiles here in the middle is my four airflow tiles. Because we need to be able to get our air around, currently it wouldn't matter because all this stuff here is not dug out. But as soon as it is, it's going to make all the difference. And then in oxygen, two oxygen diffusers, one right here and one right there. If we have algae available, that is usually what I like to do. Then in base, storage pin left and right, and then of course back to power to actually plop in a power wire for everything. And that is exactly what needs to get built ASAP, please. Dukes, get on it right away. And cycle six has started, and where are we at? Uh, we are looking pretty decent, and we also have duplicate skills available for Chemster right here. Of course, your advanced research and magenta. Of course, we are going with you. Well, is it so? Of course, either we're gonna go improve construction or we're gonna go farming. I think we're going to start with farming, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do because we will need you farming here very shortly. But that also means Chemster needs a hat, and magenta also needs a hat. And Krivak, okay, you are still a little ways away but it shouldn't be too far your skill level should come very soon and here's Kraybox skill points so let's give him hard digging and let's put him on a wonderful hat there we go that should be perfect now we just need to get the infrastructure built up here on the top especially the chumbo battery so our oxygen diffusers can start working and our dupes don't die a horrible horrible death from lack of oxygen 
And our printing pot is ready again. So let's take a look. Do we have more luck this time around? We have Lira right here with building, supplying and digging. But that would be pretty good. Decreased agriculture wouldn't really matter that much and increased medicine, which would be good. That would be a pretty good dupe right here, except the traits here don't really, well, but stinky right here with decorating plus eight. Should we get a decorator this early with an increased bladder, which would be fine. Bladder, that is not really that big of a deal. Immune to food poisoning, definitely helpful and increased science. Hmm, plus 30% skill leveling. I think I like this dupe here. It is kind of odd to bring on a decorator this early, but it should be fine. I don't see a problem with it. I've started with them before. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. And Stinky here is not going to stay stinky. You will become Cromulent Green, another long-term YouTube member. Thank you very much for that and welcome aboard. All right, let's go from there. And up here is Magenta building the last few bits and pieces. And that is a good moment to take another look into the priorities right here. And Cromwell and Green, you're going to be our sole decorator. Nobody else is going to be decorating anything. That is for sure. Let's do this here. And as a matter of fact, actually new duplicates. No new duplicate is going to be decorating or researching. There we go. None of you. That is great. That's why we're going to have this. And what I'm also going to do is you're not very good at it, or at least not any better than anybody else, but we're going to give you a number one priority up here in operating because somebody has to might as well be you at this point. And here we have our oxygen production starting up, which is great. So let me pause it and we can now dig out all of this stuff right here. All of it can go. We don't need it anymore. Now we can finally get rid of it. We just need to be careful of all the sand right here. So everywhere where we have sand, I'm just going to put in tiles to make sure that our floor here is still stable and we don't trap a dupe or anything along those lines. We will also need to take another look into research because Champster just finished. And what I'm going to go for is the fire pole right here relatively early on because that is going to increase our efficiency quite drastically. So we might as well do it right away. And now that our oxygen diffusers have been running a bit and we made quite a little bit of progress in our construction here in the middle, we can see we are looking a hell of a lot better. Still not optimal, but we are definitely getting there. And that is all that counts. At the same time, our next construction project, as soon as this one here is done, is going to be up here on the top. And up here on the top, everything that we can or that we have to fill in, better to say, I will fill in. And then we're going to dig up four extra tiles all the way through, all across to over here. And that is exactly what that should look like. And that is definitely going to be next on the list. And Krivak is already on the job. Look at him go. And Champster just finished our last research as well. And to increase the efficiency just a tiny little bit up here on the top. This here is what we're going to use next for our research. But for that, we need one more piece in the puzzle. So then we go to research and we go all the way down to decor. We need the ceiling light. We need the ceiling light to place it on the top to get our research buff out of it. And then we also want to go all the way down here to the large sculpting block as well. So we're definitely going to go for that. So our decorator also gets something to decorate. Meanwhile, up here our farm tiles they are also now ready to go and mealwood seeds we're gonna plop in as many as we can which is not gonna be a hell of a lot but we're gonna do it on all of them except the ones that have light so now when we take a look in our light overview from our printing pod right here these four right here have enough light to actually support bristle blossoms so we are not going to plant mealwood seeds right here or right there later on these are going to be bristle blossoms not right now we don't need them yet it's just preparation for later and down here on the bottom, I want to dig out all this stuff right here so we can actually put all this water here together into one big basin. That is the general idea down here in the bottom. I want to dig out all this stuff. But first, we need to get rid of this little bit here. And then we can go over to the right right here and kind of get rid of this here. Over here, we have a saltwater geyser. We're going to leave that alone for right now. We definitely won't need it anytime soon because we have plenty of water as we stand right now. And our printing pot is ready once again. So let's take a look what we've got now. Okay, we have a me period researching six and operating five. Yeah, but the traits do suck. We're not going to go with Amari right here. Researching plus 13. Holy cow. That is insane. Unfortunately, we already have a researcher. And at the same time, you have decreased science. What the hell is that about? <laughs> but Joshua over here, he has a plus nine in strength. That is a lot of strength. That could be very helpful in the long run. So we may go with Joshua right here. Yeah, I think that Joshua here is a good choice. So let's go in here. You're not going to stay Joshua. You're going to be Siltoid, another one of my YouTube members. Thank you very much for that, Siltoid, and welcome to the team. 
And let's take a quick look right away into our duplicant skills as well. Siltoid, of course, improved carrying, may as well go for it right away. Another 400 kilograms of carrying capacity, that's going to come very handy later. So we're going to give you your hat. And Chromalink Green, we are going to give you your art fundamentals because you're going to use them very, very soon. And you also get the appropriate hat for it. Wonderful. There we go. Up here on the top, all this excavation here is done. So this area here, let's take a look. Roughly right here, probably. No, that is a little bit too far, isn't it? No, that is actually perfect. Yes, right here. We are going to put in some nomadic doors. And we're going to put them right here and right here, as well as right here and right there. This area here is 64 tiles. And with 64 tiles, guess what we can build with that? Yeah, that is right. We are going to make a mess hall out of it. For that, we need a water cooler smack dab in the middle, which we then can turn off. And then we're going to plop four of these in here and four of these in here. And voila, we have a wonderful mess hall for our dupes. Just like that. Pretty simple and straightforward as usual. And our next research is complete and we can see that our light is already on. So just to increase the efficiency a little bit and Kremlin Green here has more time because he currently has to fill up two jumbo batteries and we're just generating heat for really no reason even though it's not too bad yet. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff right here. All of it has to go. We won't need any of it anymore. We're just going to get straight rid of it. Wonderful. But we also have to find more research for Champsters. So let's take a look what we are going to do next. I think the next two things that I want to break into is going in power our heavy watt wire so we can then utilize our coal generator as well as up here ranching. Those are the two things that I want to go for next. Also, the hydroponic farm here is something that we need. So I'm probably going to go for that first so we can get our park sign in as well and we can make a wonderful park. So first this year, then ranching and then the advanced power regulation on the bottom. Great. Over here on the left, I'm also going to put in a fire pole right away to speed up that process as well, because we're going to go all the way down here for our water. We may as well do it quicker, especially here for Champster, since he needs this water for his supercomputer. And this one right here should be a mess hall right now, and we can just expand it later on to make a great haul out of it. That's going to be good. Let's just open up these doors here so our dupes can get through them a tiny little bit faster. So let's take a look real quick. Chemster just finished the last research. So let's take a look into the next one. Ranching is on the list. Yep, that's what we're going to do. I already got rid of the exclamation points. And in furniture, I believe it is. Yes, we have a park sign now. And the park sign goes right into here. So how do we convert this here into a park? We're going to grab a cinematic door and we need two of those. We're going to need one of those. Let's see how that's going to work out. Right here is going to be our fire poles. So one right here and one right there. The problem is we cannot put one right there or it will not come anywhere we need to put it one further to the right it's going to look a little bit weird but it's going to be all right and then right through here and then all the way down to the bottom literally all the way down to the bottom we can put another ladder because we need to dig out all this stuff here anyway so we might as well do it and that's how this here is going to be a park we just need to build it and that should be pretty simple we just need to get it done and our printing pot is ready once again let's take another look what do we have here oh we have omelets that is definitely something that we could use uh, but what dupes do we have here? A plus nine builder, again, with increase, increased construction. Should we bring on another builder? That is a good question. There will be a lot of building down the road, that's for sure. Rocket Re plus 10 with a starting tier of three in mechatronics would also be okay, but that would be very late game. Very late game. We don't need any of that right now. Yeah, I think we are fine. But Nikola right here. Yeah, you look pretty interesting, don't you? Yes, Nikola is going to be it. You're going to come on board, but you're not going to stay. Nikola, you're going to be Satse, the number one player in Freeways. Of course, another member of my channel. Thank you very much and welcome to the game. Also, we're going to give you right away your skill and your skill is going to be improved construction. You are going to be building all day, every day. That is for sure. That is going to be your one purpose in life with a full and total priority as high as it can be. If somebody needs to be built, you are the man for the job. And Chemster once again completed the research and we are going for advanced power regulation right here on the bottom. And right here, we should now have a park. If I'm not completely wrong, let's take a look. Yes, sure enough, moral plus six. This here, a wonderful little park area. Great. That's exactly what that should look like. 
And over here, all of our dupes are currently doing nothing because they have nothing left to do. So let's pause the game and let's take a look. We have the pitcher pump that I moved over here and they have no way to get from here from the left. They have to come through our park area. And that is exactly the plan. So they can get this nice boost right here. So Curry Wagner right now should be very happy because he's sitting inside the park. We're also not digging anything or researching anything. And that is, of course, never good. So let's take a look into research and in research. I think the smart battery here would be something that we will need very soon. Do we already have the automation wire though? I don't think we do, do we? Is that how that works? No, it is not. Right down here in Smart Home, we are going to go for generic sensors. So we're going to have all the stuff available whenever we need it. I don't want to have to wait for it. And that is the first thing that we are going to do. And then we need to start digging a hell of a lot more because we are running extremely low on copper. When we take a look right here, a fire pole, we only have 2.2 tons left of copper. So let's get more of that stuff in. And how we're going to do this pretty simple and straightforward we're going to go up and to the left there is more than enough of it so right here we're going to grab us our block once again going to go here going to go there and going to go here and these here are going to be the next floors that are going over to the left side so we can easily come into here and dig all the way over let's say 20 tiles should be more than sufficient and here on the top we are going to do the exact same thing for high all the way over to there heat wise that is fine not a big deal and also these right here. I'm going to put in some tiles right here because that is valuable, valuable copper that we're going to need. And then right here as well, all these spaces here that are open, we're going to fill up with tiles just like that. Pretty simple. Also down here, we're just going to grab two more so we can get those two tiles in as well. And just for completeness sake, we're going to dig all the way over to here and get us this muck root out. Even though our meal was here should be in. Let's see, do we have any meal lice laying around? Yes, meal lice right here, 4,000 grams. And what do we have left in here? Muck root 10.7 kilograms. So probably digging over here is not going to hurt anything. How are we on algae? Algae, we have plenty of it in organic. I don't want to put anything in there about algae. Please, thank you. That would be nice. All the other stuff I definitely don't want. But we have here 4.6 tons and here 1.3 tons. So we are still fine on that. And we have more than enough laying around. Wonderful. So let's get started on that. And cycle 15 has just started a few seconds ago. I barely noticed, but I think this is a pretty good stopping point. We have accomplished quite a lot of it in the first few cycles, I would say. Could be a little bit better, but it's fine. Not that big a deal. We have a lot of water that we have to deal with. That is something that we have to keep in mind. And there's more right here that we need to drain out very soon. So let's take a quick look what we have accomplished right here. In our room overlay, we have a mess hall. We have a latrine, we have barracks, and we even have a nature reserve right here with a total morale of plus six. That is quite good in my book. We have our water basin down here with which we have to do something very, very soon. But first of all, we're going to drain the rest of this water in here because at least for right now, I don't see any more water around except this little bit over here. What we need to do next is take care of this area right here because I want to go down here. What is actually hidden behind here? Let's take a quick look at that. That is a not a saltwater guy isn't that something okay well that is uh, not very exciting but that is fine i want to get down here into this general area but i would assume there's slime lung here isn't there yes of course there is but we have chlorine down here so we probably need to dig our way somehow through this entire area right here and reach this chlorine right here and then we're just going to use this chlorine here to store all the slime at least temporarily and get rid of all the germs and then we can build our temporary power grid until much later on we are going to start with an industrial brick but but that is going to be a while before we get there. So we need to set up some sort of power supply for our base beforehand. And I'm planning on doing it somewhere right here, probably. That's probably the best area for it. But for that, the slime has to go. But before we go, I have one more request for you. And that is, please leave me a comment down below with a suggestion for the name for our planetoid right here. Currently, it's Dampiel. And that is certainly not going to stay this way. Leave a comment. Let me know your ideas. I will pick the best one. I will give you a shout out. And I will rename this planetoid to whatever your suggestion is. But that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and comment your suggestion down below. And with that, I say thank you and peace.